Today's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna show you two dishes that I think are really hot and trendy right now and that are absolutely delicious. And they're the perfect dishes to turn your hobby into a profession or for small businesses to sell something special during the upcoming holiday season. And after cooking everything, I'm gonna have a special guest come in and try it and tell me if it's actually good. <laughs> Quick little background, a lot of people might not know this. At one point in my late, mid to late 20s, I ran about 10 restaurants. Some were very successful, some not successful. The restaurant business is very difficult. Everyone who tells you to go into the restaurant business tells you not to do it, but you still do it because you're really passionate about cooking and about serving the food you love to, to, to guests and clients, to friends or family. Trendy foods are always something that you wanna look out for because it's hot, people are talking about it, then people eventually will wanna order it. But depending on the food, it might be something that's just passing or something that's here to stay. There are two staples that I absolutely love in Filipino cuisine. One is a bistec tagalog. I think that's a staple. I don't consider it trendy, but I think it's something that we can make a little trendier. Um, and I'm gonna be doing something special with that bistec today. The second one is extremely trendy nowadays. The lechon baka has exploded absolutely everywhere in the Philippines. We don't all have a spit roast at home and we, we don't all have the space to cook a whole cow. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today using some beef belly. We're gonna be working with the Noor Professional line products. They have some new packaging that's perfect for the medium, small size businesses. Obviously, you do know when it comes to cost, you wanna buy in bulk, you wanna buy big, so you actually save some money. But if you're not a huge business, if you buy something in bulk and don't end up using it, that goes to wastage. And that should also be considered as part of your cost. So the new products are the Nor Professional Liquid Seasoning. They have new sizes. One's a 3.8 liter and one is a two liter. And basically, if you look at the total liquid you get for this price, you're saving about 10% in terms of food cost. Next, we have the Nor Professional Sinigang. So I think this is the 160 gram pack. Um, and this will make about eight liters of Sinigang broth or soup. By buying it in this format, you actually save close to 5% in your food cost. So I'm using today the Sinigang to Sampaloc mix, the original. And finally, everyone's favorite, the Nor Professional Chicken Powder Seasoning Mix. Um, the new 300 gram variant also will save you some cash. For all the dishes today, I will be providing you with a food cost based on grammage. So if you wanna make this, you know how to price it and you know how much you're making per tray or per gram of food that you're actually selling. The first dish we're gonna make is a bistec Tagalog. So I'm using two types of meat here. Um, I have a strip loin and I have some oyster blade, really up to you what you wanna use. These are already very tender on their own. When cutting your meat for beef steak, just make sure you go against the grain so that it stays nice and tender. When you go with the grain, you're gonna have something that's really chewy. What I really love about beef steak is the varying textures of onions that you get. So I'm using a little bit of onion today. Feel free to double that amount if you want to um, because I really do feel like the onions make the dish so beautiful and delicious. Okay, we need to marinate this overnight to build all that flavor. Crush about eight cloves of garlic with one teaspoon of whole peppercorns. A couple of tablespoons of soy sauce and a nor liquid seasoning. Calamansi juice, of course, this dish isn't anything without calamansi, but to bring it over the top, we're gonna add in some nor original sinigang mix. So ideally, you want to marinate this with for no longer than 20 minutes. Usually anything with meat, especially quality meat and citrus, the last thing you want to do is overcook the meat. If you have a, a really tough cut of meat, it's okay to let it marinate longer, but this is not something you'd leave overnight for sure. Um, so the way we're going to cook this, very simple. Take the beef, give it some color in the pan. and then we're gonna transfer that in a wider pot 
pour in all the sauce, cover with a little bit of water as needed to tenderize the beef as we cook it down. Should take 15 to 20 minutes with this cut specifically. If you have something tougher, then you can cook it down for much longer. In terms of the onions, you can then put them straight in the pot if you want, or if you want texture and caramelization and some sweetness from the onions, make sure to separately um, cook them first and then cook them down as you add them. But again, we're all about kind of layering the textures of the onions that we're using. As the sauce thickens out ever so slightly, add more nor sinigang mix and liquid seasoning to adjust. Make sure to taste, taste, and taste. In another pot, make a roux with butter, flour until toasted. Add in some water or beef broth. And season the whole thing with more sinigang mix, liquid seasoning, and black pepper to thicken. So I've been cooking this for 15 minutes and it looks beautiful. And that with the gravy is just gonna take the acidity level to a whole new level. Right before serving, you can take your thinnest slices of red onions and add that and just let that steam kind of like soften it a little bit. That way you get really bright onion flavors as well. So here you'll have like really soft onions, medium cooked onions and really bright onion. Beef steak isn't beef steak without sauce. Super important, you pour that sauce on. It almost has to swim in it. And then to that, we're gonna add our gravy. So when sending this over for delivery or anything, just keep this on the side and have like a little cute note or something that tells people to um, add it right before eating. So that's another fun way of doing a different bistec. Um, this is like a bistec sinigang, um, and it looks absolutely delicious, and I think if you sell this, people will buy it. For our lechon baka, we're gonna be using some beef short plate or some beef belly, or you can ask your butcher for whatever they consider beef bacon. You can buy this in a big slab. If you do buy a big slab, you'll need to cook this slightly longer. If you get the strips that we got today, these actually cook slightly faster. But this is something you can actually prepare a day or two days in advance, which is really great, which means you can cook it, get all that prep done, put it in the fridge, and then eventually on the day you're gonna be selling it or sending it over as an order, you can go ahead and broil it at a high temp just to get that Maillard reaction that's really important for the dish. So the night before, we need to marinate. In a blender, blitz together some water, brown sugar, nor liquid seasoning, and soy sauce. At this point, make sure to taste it. It shouldn't be like too salty, um, but just try to find something that's just really well balanced and just right. So you can add more salt if needed and then throw in some garlic, ginger, and lemongrass. So my beef belly has been marinating overnight, so it should be really nice and tasty now. So what we're gonna do is kind of half wrap it in foil and cook it at a really low temperature. I have it now at around 280 Fahrenheit, and that's gonna cook down for about three to four hours. Make sure to keep your marinade, because this is gonna serve as your basting liquid. So maybe every 20 minutes, you're gonna check on your beef belly, and you're gonna make sure to baste it so it stays nice and moist. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Curl up the sides. Like I said, we're not looking to steam this, so we want it to breathe. We just want to keep everything nice and tight.
some people serve this with like a sweet liver sauce or a soy base sauce, but I want something that feels fresh and acidic since the meat is already quite fatty. So chop up some green onions, coriander, some red onions, and mix that with your own pina colada spice vinegar mix or just some regular vinegar. And tame that acidity with a little bit of honey. So that served au jus, which are just the drippings from the cooking. Then our nice little vinegar filipino chimichurri thing. Ninong! Game na agad? Game. Game na agad? Straight. Yan. Good? Okay naman, okay naman. Inulan lang sa biyahe. I have for you. Um, so I made a beef belly Lechon, mm -hmm. like you know, the super popular. Yes, uh, lechon baka. Lechon baka. So, yeah. parang my style with beef belly. I did more like a braise, something people can do at home, yeah. just with an oven. This is with like a pinakura chimichurri, oh, yeah. and then with the jus. Pinakura chimichurri. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. What about me? You can come in too. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it out of there. Yeah. Is it short plate? Yes. Mmm. God, and this is, this is just the juices in which it was cooked. So that's where you'll have your lemongrass, your soy sauce. Okay, naman. Yung sarap. Na introduce yung idea ng lechon baka sa general masses eh. Before hindi masyado eh. Correct. Diba? Ang lechon baka before was like a whole cow talaga. Mm -hmm. Diba? It's a bit roasted ganyan. Pero ngayon, pwede palang ganyan. There's short plate, there's yeah. brisket, yes. parang different restaurants use different cuts of meat. Ano, exactly. Yeah, talaga. And uh, feeling ko nagkaroon na siya ng place sa Filipino celebration. I agree. Diba? Perfect. Para sa akin kasi, iba to, like, I obviously... Para sa akin kasi. <laughs> <laughs> Mabuhay, Filipinas. My name is Will Dasvid. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> masarap to. At least, at least na intindihan ko mag Tagalog. At yes, least yes. No, no, he actually Tagalog. probably speaks better than me. Okay, go. Kasi rin sa Tagalog nga lang. Yung sinasabi ko, before I was so rudely interrupted, is that... Kalimutan ko na! Kalimutan ko! Is, is lechon is like, you know, you have it all the time, pero... Di ko alam if first time or second time na in my entire life dito sa Pilipinas. Baka. Yeah, I never have this. So it's something new. And masarap pa. Tsaka remember nung nauso a few years ago yung lechon belly. Yun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Diba? Nung nauso yung lechon belly, yung thinking na you can have lechon without, you know, buying a whole pig, sobrang laking bagay. No? So naging indispensable na ngayon yung idea ng pagkakaroon ng lechon belly sa celebration. Diba? Correct. Same with this. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, there's more. Yes. So this was a play. So I wanted to do something different with Bistek. And so I thought, why not make bistek? Pero yung maasim comes from sinigang, mm -hmm. nor sinigang mix. Mm -hmm. And I made a sinigang gravy okay. on top. This is using uh, oyster blade and a little bit of uh, sirloin. I think you're not allowed to eat it without rice. Will, what are you doing? <laughs> so, so, may ibat ibang putahe na kailangan mo talaga ng rice. When you say putahe, yeah. it sounds so <laughs> bad. Right? Yeah. Ibang ibang no. putahe. Pare, pwede mo naman sabihin ulam. Pwede na yung ulam. <laughs> Anong problema mo sa Tagalog po, pare? Sige, try mo nga, mag Tagalog ka lang, ha? Say putahe. Putahe. <laughs> yabang yabang mo, ha? So, there's calamansi here. But ah. it's, it's enhanced by oh. more sinigang mix. I thought it was not. I'm surprised. It's so good. It's not good. It's not good. But... It's good. It's okay. Siya. Mm. For me, bistec is one of my favorite simple Filipino ulams. It's so easy to do. Right? Yeah. Super fast. Very easy to build flavor. But it's something a lot of people parang make at home mm -hmm. and they won't order it. Yeah. So yeah. how do you make it slightly special by making it slightly different? Mm -hmm. So I think the sinigang addition plus the gravy parang it feels different. It feels different pero ano eh, it feels homey pa rin. Correct. Tapos I appreciate na daming onions. Ang onions, ang iba iba flavor profile niya. As you cook it down. As you cook it down, diba? Correct. Kaya ang ganun. Right, well. Tama. <laughs> All right guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Yeah. So you know the, the food is actually good. So if you guys want to try it out at home, please do. I really think these are items I could sell. So if you're planning to sell things during the upcoming holidays, 
you're trying to make a little money on the side or if you're a small business or you want to develop a business, try out these dishes using the Nora Professional line. I'm sure you'll like it. And if you haven't yet, but I'm pretty sure you have, you probably saw his video before you saw mine. <laughs> but if you haven't, make sure to go on Neil and Rai's channel mm -hmm. where we are trying some of the dishes that he prepared uh, yeah. using some of the same products. Yes. And Will, Will is literally here just randomly. I don't know what he's doing yet. I'm just here to, for the free food. Is he, still, is he still behind me? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep looking at the camera. I'm just here for the thumbnail. Until you walk yeah. away. What the right. thumbnail, man? Yeah. Thumbnail, thumbnail. Pray, Halika. Lapitan mo ko, pray. Ready? One, two, three.